Original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service by using the hashtag FanBrag or calling the Fan Bragging Hotline at 855 Fan Brag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of positive business talk. It is our privilege to have you, and I've been looking forward to this particular interview for a while. My cheeks already hurt. I've been smiling through the commercial break. This is going to be fun. It is. We have the former star of Animal Planet's Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, Peter Gross, with over four decades worth of knowledge and experience working with wildlife and has traveled to over five dozen countries. Peter's encountered some of the world's most deadliest animals. He has chased a 12 foot python through the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in Manhattan. <laughs> He's been thrown through the air 11 feet by a giraffe. He also had a Bengal tiger that lived in his home for 21 years that he was able to bottle feed. We're so excited to have the legend Peter Gross here on Experience Pros. Peter, welcome. Thank you. Nice to talk to both of you. Peter, uh, first of all, it's a wonder you're still alive. Thank you for, for being here for that uh, interview. Uh, you've got story after story after story of the adventures that you have uh, experienced. And, and one you know, Angel had to mention in your, your, uh, read up the, uh, the, the Python from the, uh, Waldorf Astoria Hotel. I read the one of my fear, and that is you followed a tarantula into Jay Leno's shirt. What? Well, actually, I, w- I was fortunate enough to be introduced to the, uh, Johnny Carson show with, uh, Jim Fowler. And then when uh, Jay Leno took over, they asked me if I'd come back and, and uh, share some wildlife stories. And, and it's a tremendous platform to educate a lot of people for sure. a short period of time. Well, this um, tarantula about the size of my hand that usually just sits still on your shoulder nope. because it's a nice warm place to pee, decided to crawl down the back of his neck. Nope. And it's the first time I've ever seen him completely quiet. We uh, we went to a commercial. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Oh, my gosh, nope. How did you get to be so brave? Because, you know, as Eric said, m- the snake thing wigs me out. Spider thing wigs him out. When I look through some of the things you've done, how did you get to be so brave? Well, it's 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 actually not that not bravery. It's 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 careful research, and oftentimes before we go to film in the wild, we spent uh, weeks and weeks talking to local experts and researchers and scientists, and and there's calculated risk. Um, over the years, you just spend more and more time working around wildlife, and you you establish a real comfort zone. Like the uh, the tiger you mentioned earlier is one that was actually born in a facility. Um, a wildlife park that I would bring home occasionally when it needed to be bottle red and it became bottle fed and it was three pounds. And then as it got older and went to uh, live at its compound, it was um, a 500 pound animal. It was still one that was completely attached to me, trusted me, used me for security, yet was still very much still so a full-grown tiger. You know, you, you mentioned uh, their calculated risks, and you engage a, a whole bunch of uh, educated experts. Uh, w- which expert did you engage with the uh, cattle-eating 15-foot crocodile in Costa Rica's uh, river uh, that, that, that oh, yeah. came after you? That was an interesting story. We we went down to the uh, the Tarcalanus River because they had problems with crocodiles pulling up along the shore where the cattle would come to the river's edge uh, to graze. And the manner in which they would get a good look at them was to lure them up along the side of the river with a piece of chicken and then, and then photograph them, photograph them. So we were helping them do their census and their count when we got uh, nice and close to them and got to see them up close and personal. One was around uh, 500 pounds and they were hoping to sort of relocate it away from where the cattle were. My wow. gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just, you know, the stories are so harrowing. It seems we're talking with animal television pioneer and wild king, kingdom ambassador, Peter Gross. And Peter, I was reading through, of course, you know, we were given a, a long list and the list is long of, of some of your adventures, but I thought it was really funny that a, you were thrown by a camel four feet and 11 feet by a giraffe, which, you know, that makes sense, right? Sure. You were <laughs> hanging out at the top, right? Well, this was, <laughs> it was part of a program. Um, early on, I was helping to design uh, free roaming 
breeding programs for endangered species. And uh, we had a, a, an adult giraffe that was having problems uh, with birth, and the veterinarians were there. And, and she just turned around and rotated and raised her foot as if she would uh, to move around. And I was standing in the wrong place. I mean, they're, they're a very powerful animal in the wild. They protect their young uh, from lions just by rotating up on three legs and kicking. So uh, it was... Uh, I took a little trip through the air and landed in some hay, fortunately. <laughs> that was fortunate. Now, I know you're out talking about conservation, and you've got, you have you, got you have a great message that you want to share. What is the message you want to share? Well, I, it's an important message. And some of the old stories that you, you've heard about now, the way with the, we used to film um, the way back when we did in the early days of film and then video, and now I think the message is we need an appreciation for the natural world, and young people are spending so much time staring at screens and ball with technology and video games um, that my goal is I visit uh, performing arts centers and, and, and theaters and uh, universities to speak is to reconnect them with the natural world. It's uh, get them back out, spending time in nature, have more of a balance in life. Certainly, we live in an era of technology where it's important, but we also need to reconnect our children with the natural world. So my goal is to get them out. We have state parks and national parks, and even in your backyard, going to a, p- a pond or a stream and experiencing frogs and fish and get the feel of what it's like to maybe stand next to a waterfall or walk through a forest. Uh, physically and mentally, it's a very healthy thing for us to do is get out and spend time walking in nature. Absolutely, absolutely. Our guest is Peter Gross, and uh, his his credentials are legendary. Uh, one of our listeners, Barbara, uh, says, love him. Uh, so you've got uh, fans out here in Denver. Peter, how do the um, the more current shows, uh, especially wildlife shows, such, you know, I'm thinking about uh, Discovery Channel, Shark Week, and things like that. How do they stack up to the Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom? I mean, I grew up watching that and Jacques Cousteau and all that kind of stuff. Well, Wild Kingdom ran for years uh, on Animal Planet, and uh, now they're making new webisodes that you see on the Internet at wildkingdom.com. But um, there's been sort of a trend, I think, of more sort of teeth and claws and danger and fear that uh, tends to affect ratings. And, and I certainly understand the importance of ratings, but I think part of my job on these platforms that I have nationally is to eliminate fear and replace it with understanding and appreciation for wildlife and realize that most of wildlife has a fear of people. And there aren't giant carnivores out there looking for people to consume. We just have to respect them, enjoy the fact that so many of them are making a comeback, uh, give them lots of space and lots of room, and appreciate the fact that we can see them in their natural habitat. Well, it, it is, you know, you do kind of watch some of these shows and think, how in the world do they do they capture these, you know, these moments on television? You wonder, if, you know, how long do they have to sit with the, the camera in order to get it? Or what did they have to do, the, you know, luring the crocodiles with chickens, actually? I would have never thought of that, but you got to do what you've got to do. Right. Um, it's, cer- it's certainly nothing I would ever recommend. It's something that, that I don't even believe is done anymore. Um, so now it can be done so much easier with technology and motion sensing cameras and heat sensing cameras that it can be done very respectfully with wildlife. And I think any program that we can get to reconnect young people with um, the, the incredible wildlife, seeing it up close as we never had before, and hopefully connect them strong enough so they want to do something to help preserve it is a good thing. Absolutely. I absolutely agree with that. Well, Peter, it has just been an honor and a pleasure to have you on the show today. Do you have uh, one final great memory you'd like to share with our audience? Well, if, if they would if they would like to hear more, um, I am speaking around the country. I'm doing a national tour, sharing information tours. They can certainly reach me at petergross.com. And uh, just that, again, I encourage families to get out and enjoy nature. Uh, we have uh, so much, so many wonderful national parks in our country, and you there, especially your state, you're just surrounded with so many beautiful places to enjoy. It's just uh, my message is get out and enjoy it. I love it. Thank you so much for your work and for joining us here. You brought nothing but smiles, man. We, we, we love having you on the program. Nice talking to both of you. Thank you. Absolutely. That's Peter Gross, wildlife uh, expert from Wild Kingdom. 
And you can find him at petergross.com. That's Peter, G-R-O-S dot com. And uh, if you are interested in booking him, you can call 717-227-0060. He would be happy to come out and connect with you there. Uh, beware of the spider. I'm just and saying. Go outside. And go outside. <laughs> Enjoy nature. You know, he's, even his voice sounds very tranquil, very zen. Uh, he, he's been outside a lot. All right, gang, don't go anywhere. More positive business talk right after these messages. You're listening to Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. 